Hello guys, hello people of the internet. I want to bring you today a guide what in-game settings you can change in Battleborn to reduce your visual clutter or visual noise and to give you some kind of advantage in overview so that you know what's going on exactly. So let's start with the more basic uh, basic thing like the minimap. Right now it's um, yeah, a decent minimap. You can see maybe a quarter of the of the map in any direction. But what if I tell you you can actually see more of a quarter of the map? Right now you see the whole map and when everything spawns you will even see this like um, when the oh, oh 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 like you see when the um, the Thrall spawns, you see when chart spawns, so this is under options, gameplay and match map display style, change it to minimap only. And the next thing that I found kind of disturbing is, oh, I need an enemy, my cat Darius. You see when I hit him, this right, right uh, flash of his whole uh, model, this is uh, helpful as a hit, hit detection in, uh, that's bad. And hit detection as a ranged character, but as a melee you don't want this. Because your whole screen is flashing. This right flash dot there. Um, you won't, don't want this because, it, as I said right now, um, the your whole display will be flashing. Since you stand right next to them. So this is under options, gameplay and damage feedback style. Chain this to, oh, not none, but numbers only. And then you will even see on such big targets like the sen uh, sentry, which flashes normally, just numbers. Oh, and really, really hard damage. And if you look right now on the minimap, you see what I meant. Well, you know when everything spawns and where it spawns. Uh, I just see the strats are spawned, the shots are spawned. So and now I can pick it them up uh, when I shoot on the enemy. I have only some numbers to know, okay, I hit him, but I don't have these flashing all over the place. The third thing is that's, that you should actually do before, oh, that doesn't matter. Um, let's buy this so I don't get pushed too hard. Um, before or after, no, not audio, video. To the video options you should max out your field of view and you should Cap the frame rate not like it's default. Default is like this, which is utterly useless in a first person shooter if you don't have maybe um, full 60 FPS or something like that. I, this smooths on around 40 to 50 for me, while this stays on 60. It stays on 60 most of the time, like 99%. So on a video, cap this on whatever your native FPS of your monitor is. If you have a monitor that can handle more than 60 per frames per second, do this. I mean, even turned on Resync, that depends on when you use this, You probably when you cap this to your native FPS, you probably don't need it. Especially if you can stay on your maximum FPS most of the time. Yeah, you don't need it. It's only to make the picture smoother because there is a problem when you don't have full 60 fps and uh, your monitor just refreshes the picture and in the middle of refreshing the picture a new picture is ready to or is rendered from your graphics card then half of your pictures from the old or from the frame is from the old picture and half is from the new which then looks like a picture that is completely yeah Teared. It's called tearing in, yeah, in most of the cases. So uh, I would stay with it. Yeah. Hopefully this helps you to get more overview, less clutter, and especially as a melee, a bit more of a feel for who, who, where you are fighting, how you are fighting, and what the enemy is actually doing instead of just flashes. So thanks for watching the video. Leave a like or a comment if you have anything to mention. I would appreciate anything of of this sort. Thanks for watching again. See you on the battlefield, guys.